Hello everybody and welcome to the Hajatepe pathology uh, case of the month series. So in this month I'm going to present a 65 year old male uh, with a blad bladder biopsy and uh, the patient has a history of um, transplant, renal transplant due to the diabetic nephropathy 10 years ago. So um, the surgeon uh, just saw a um, papillary proliferation uh, in the mucosa and took a biopsy. Here we have two parts. In this part, we have more hyperchromatic proliferation, while we have the we have a large edematous papillary uh, formations in the left side. So let's. <coughs> um, go into that side and in this the, so this is a normal uh, ki uh, kind of um, may maybe maybe inside uh, like the other side but this is uh, the uh, what we see is in this area is uh, we have this one layered hobnail epithelium in this papillary formation some of them are slaughtered and uh, the we the we, we don't see any uh, hyperchromasia or um, atypia in those cells and uh, we have we have this papillary formations but we don't have any glandular like area here in the in the bottom uh, and this is likely to represent the nephrogenic uh, metaplasia or adenoma and in the just the left right side of this area we see this this is the start of the lesion we have this uh, tubular adenoma like proliferation uh, it it, it represents it, it, it resembles the colonic mucosa, but uh, so this is not a urethe urethelium, and we have this hyperchromasia, and um, so this is what we call and an mitotic figures at the uh, top layers here, and this is simply an adeno adenocarcinoma in situ, just near the, the nephrogenic adenoma and just to highlight those two lesions we ordered the GATA3 just highlighting the this is also the other side and highlighting the adenocarcinoma part nicely and uh, of course the nephrogenic metaplasia is negative while <coughs> PAX8 just stains the reverse as you see here so this is the nephrogenic metaplasia and the adenocarcinoma is negative so nephrogenic metaplasia is largely benign lesion but um, there are some case reports um, claiming that the nephrogenic adenoma or metaplasia can be a precursor for clear cell adenocarcinoma uh, but here we don't have clear cell morphology so this, this, this is like uh, normal or classic adenocarcinoma in situ and there are also some atypical nephrogenic metaplasia with, uh, with uh, some atypical cellular features and here this, this, this is another interesting part of this lesion is a lesion is the uh, as we 40 is also expressed in those adenocarcinoma cells as you see here and the nephrogenic metaplasia areas are negative and so um, this is also there are, there are some 50 40 or 50 case reports uh, reporting that um, the transplant patients with BK or JC nephropathy may lead to adenocarcinoma or carcinoma formation, bladder carcinoma formation, but 
we don't have we don't know um, the real association yet whether they cause cancer or not they can be coincidental um, thank you very much and see you next month